Good afternoon, and welcome to day seven of our Resident Evil Marathon stream. Now, if you remember from last session, if you were here for that, we got killed. We got killed by Lisa Trevor. Um, however, uh, I did skip a few bits because we had to go and fight that boss again, and that would have been quite boring to watch. Um, we're back to the graveyard, and you'll notice I actually have the wind crest with me this time. And the reason why I have that will become apparent very shortly. But first of all, let's just solve this puzzle, which I think it needs to go to the west. Yep, that's looking away. That's fine. I think the other one needs to go to the south. We've seen this cutscene, so I am going to skip it. And I'll get rid of the mouse cursor. I think it might be the north. But it's just slow down. Yep, yeah, and there we go, we've unlocked that. So yeah, we're about to see why I, I have brought the wind crest this time. Which the uh, wind crest was a little nod to the original game, where instead of the death masks, you needed crests. These fuckers are going to kick off in a moment, but that's fine. I'm going to use that. And you get three more quick press. Luckily, I have enough inventory space to fit all three of those. Oh, you little bastard. Fuck off, fuck off. Oh, that, that was annoying. Oh, I am on caution, though, still, from before. Right, so we need to examine these. And the button. Will we press it? Yes, we will. Because that lets us use it. And we will examine this one. And we'll press the button. And finally, we'll examine this one. And we will, you guessed it, press the button. Okay, so we're going to use that. And finally, we're going to use that. And now we have the Mac Daddy. The big bastard. The Silver Serpent 357 Magnum, the best weapon in the game. Well, other than the rocket launcher that you can unlock for beating the game in a certain time, but that is by the by. Otherwise, that is the business right there. Spooky Lisa. And this time we are going to heal up before we have the Lisa encounter, just in case we take any damage. Because we uh, we can we can take the hit, so that's fine. Uh, if you want to let me know in the chat if the microphone's coming through all right, because we did have some technical issues yesterday. Uh, the levels did show it was coming through, but I am feeling a bit paranoid, and I can't hear my own microphone at the moment. In fact, I am just gonna. In fact, I am just. Gonna yeah, I've just uh, just clicked on my own stream and unmuted myself just to check that. And it is working, so that's good. Okay, so we're going to get in here. And we're pretty much up to where we left off now. I'm going to get rid of that crosshair, have a sip of my coffee. Not happy with that coffee, as I said in the last stream. Uh, couldn't get my favourite coffee when I went to the supermarket yesterday. Um, had to settle for a different brand, and I'm not happy with that, really. It's okay. It's still still a decent coffee, and I am I am like this is like first class, first class, first world problems. But uh, I'm gonna stash that in there. Um, anything else that we are going to do? No, not. 
We are going to pick up that crank because we will need it. In the original game, the crank is in the room where you first enter um, after the mansion. Oh. And Lisa's going to knock us out again. This time, though, things should be different. This time, if we take a hit getting past her, we take a hit, but let's not fuck about on the stairs this time. Yeah, see, we took the hit. And see, that's what I'm talking about. Lisa is a heavy hitter. We went from been on fine to been on caution. Which, uh, that's fine. We will stay on caution for a little bit because we don't really need to worry about it too much. Uh, I believe there are zombies around here now. But, much like any zombies, they're pretty easily dodged. This one, you can run around a tree. He's looking very lost, isn't he, bless him? And there is one down near this gate here, if I recall correctly. I oh, know there's one. I think there may be one where the crows are actually in the next area. Yeah. Well, we don't have to come back here, so I, I could have sworn there was another one. Oh well. Not that it matters. Uh, the reason why I started a bit early today is because I, I really want to crack on with this one and get through it. Uh, not because I don't like the game, I love the game, but because I will be taking Friday and Monday off with it being the bank holiday because I will have boyfriend duties, unfortunately. Yeah, this is definitely the scariest one out of the games, especially... I mean, I'm quite confident with this game now because I've played it a few times, uh, even though I haven't played it in a while. If you can hear me, just give me a sign. Anything. But this Jilt is definitely Brad, the scariest. Can you hear me? I think pro possibly the scariest one. Shit, it's broken. Okay, there is, there is, there are dogs. Sorry about that awful grammar. Yeah, there's just so much in this game that can like freak you out the first time you play it. If anything, the fear factor kind of drops after this part of the game. Um, just simply because it's it gets a lot easier. Okay, so we use that crack to drain the pool. You can hear the sound of a waterfall in the distance. But yeah, there's so much in this game that the first time you play it just absolutely freaks you out. Uh, I think there are some snakes here, which it's always like 50-50 whether you're going to get bitten by them or not. And they're really annoying because they are poisonous. Okay, so they're not here yet. Which is good. I feel like the dogs are a lot scarier in this one, like, they, I feel like they can definitely hit you a lot easier. Oh, even the crows are a pain in the ass here. Okay. Powers to the elevator isn't working, okay. Um, yep, yeah, I've completely forgot where I'm going. Yeah, it's through here. Yeah, these are big snakes though, like uh, like Yawn, the giant snake. Um, they are just tiny little snakes. I 
Oh, there they are. Yeah, so if these guys bite you, you become poisoned, which is really annoying. Okay, so there's your blue herb, which uh, I would always recommend picking up any blue herbs that you can and stashing them in the box in case you ever need them. There is a save room as well, one of these. Lock door plate reads 001, so I think it's this one. Take the battery. I will take the battery. Of uh, any just green herbs, that's fine. I don't think I'm going to need a crank in this area. I'm going to get rid of the shotgun, replace that for the handgun. We will fill up the canteen with kerosene while we're here. Always good to just have that, just in case you need to burn some zombies. I mean, when you compare this side by side to the 96 original, it just it's just amazing. Like the attention to detail, the fact that it's it is. A remake and a lot of these areas are familiar but then they've changed enough that it has its own feel and just the fact that I'm assuming this was always what the creators intended like the the atmosphere that the creators intended the game to have okay so we'll move that box in a moment yeah, absolutely, and I think um, it's definitely the game that they wanted to make. Oh, ho, 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 yes. Um, if you don't like spiders, this bit is a little bit scary. Uh, I'm actually fairly okay with spiders in my day-to-day -day life. Uh, they don't bother me. I um, often find that I am the uh, spider killer, or spider catcher, as it would be, because I don't really like killing them, so I tend to give them a home outside the property. Take the shotgun shells. Take this first aid box. And I'll take the red book. The spiders in this one are pretty easy to dodge. Um, there is a puzzle well, an optional puzzle, because you can actually brute force the puzzle, and we probably will do it that way. Uh, I'm just waiting for this guy to move. Yep. See, they're very easy to run around. But yeah, this is definitely the game that I wanted to make. I remember reading an interview with uh, Shinji Mikami, the director of the original Resident Evil and of this game, I believe. And he said, basically, by the time the GameCube PS2 era, even though it was only a generation, that generational leap was in a way, possibly the most significant one that we will ever have. Let's examine that. A blue and green herb mix. Pop that in there. Pop that. Put it does. up to fine. Let's have a look at this book. Yeah, so we will need that book later on. Yeah, I always get uh, I always get grief from the Mrs. Sparrow and Spiders as well. But, uh, 
Why would I kill a spider just for doing what it does? And like I've always said, spiders are very useful. You'd have a lot more flies and other shit if we didn't have spiders. Not only that, but they're a really interesting species. I could watch uh, documentaries on spiders all day long. Okay, you notice I pushed the crate there instead of walking around that gap. That's because there's a plant tentacle that'll grab you if you do that. And that is uh, plant 42, which is the uh, boss of this area. I mean, looking at these graphics, I know they've been upscaled to HD and the character models have been redone a bit, but playing this back on the GameCube, it was an absolute revelation. Newspapers that I scattered about, they all seem to contain articles about stars. We won't be grabbing that map yet because a load of bees will come out. Locks, the door plate reads gallery. Okay, and this one. No, that wasn't part of our deal. But it's not necessary to destroy stars. What about my family? If I play my cards right. Well, that sounded like Barry Burton with another person. Although, if you watch Resident Evil Zero. Jill. Barry, I heard someone probably talking. Probably gathered who that probably oh, was. You heard. I think age is starting to take its toll. Talking to myself is becoming a bad habit. Talking to yourself? You all right? What's gotten into you? I'm getting you worried, aren't I? But don't, I'm all right. I guess this creepy mansion has gotten to my nerves. Anyway. I think I'll go outside, get some fresh air for a change. Don't worry, I'm just going to get some fresh air. If I'm lucky, I'll get to waste some monsters along the way. Yeah, I mean, the, the thing is with, uh, with the Wesker thing, obviously, one, because we're playing it in chronological order, we kind of spoiled the fact that Wesker is part of Umbrella anyway. Uh, and then secondly, I feel like Wesker being a bad guy is the worst kept secret since uh, Luke, uh, Darth Vader is Luke Skywalker's father. So it's one of those where people people know about it now. Like, and I feel like even if you're just a casual uh, Resident Evil fan, you probably already know that Wesker's a baddie. Because um, to be fair, there's only one game where he's ever been a good guy. Well, I say a good guy pretending to be a good guy and even that it's like three quarters of the game like before you get your suspicions anyway plant 42 report four days have passed since the accident the plant at point 42 is growing at an amazing rate although there are many unknown aspects of this plant we know that in comparison with the other group of plants the t-virus has had a substantially stronger effect on this one Ooh, they've got the wrong use of effect Effect and affect. Affect is present tense, effect is past tense. Grammar. The T virus has drastically morphed its host anatomy as well as its size. Looking at its current state, it's difficult to imagine its original appearance. Nowhere on earth will you find anything like it. We've also found that plant 42 has two main sources of acquiring its necessary nutrients. One source is through its root. Somehow it has rooted itself down in the basement. Immediately after the accident, a scientist went mad and destroyed the Acra Wing. Acra Wing? Uh, ever since, the basement has been like a pool. There is a high possibility that it's one of the chemicals in the water that's promoting the Plant 42's rapid growth. However, we've yet to determine the specific chemical. A bulb like body of Plant 42 has been sighted hanging from the ceiling onto the first floor. We are sure that it used the air ducts to reach the first floor. Numerous long tentacle-like vines are protruding from the bulb. 
We believe the vines are the second means of acquiring its nutrients. When the plant 42 senses prey, it uses its tentacle-like vines to capture its prey. After doing so, suckers on the vine drain the play prey of blood. And we've also noticed that it has some intelligence. When it captures its prey or when it's inactive, the vines twine around the door to stop possible intruders. Unfortunately, several of our scientists have already fallen victim to this plant 42. When we heard the stories from the survivors, they all observed one thing in common. When the uniform petal light flaps open and reveal its internals, it has a tendency to become more aggressive. One witness reported that it was as if it was trying to protect itself. Why it behaves the way it does is still unknown. May 21st, 1998, Henry Sarton. Okay, so yeah, we are going to have to be dealing with Plant 42 at some point. Uh, we need to... Uh, we need to push this, but I can't remember how we push it. Alright, I think we push this one back. And then I think we push this one to the side. Magic. I don't know if there's anything else in here. Obviously there's a bathroom door. Is there anything in the bathroom? There is a residence key. Examine. And that is 001. Oh shit. Right, we can't drain that bath. That was a bit of a shock if I'm honest. I completely forgot that that happened. So we should probably use that key first before we go down there. This mediocre coffee. Use the key for room 001. See that one? That one I'm fine with because obviously it has 001. It's for this building and there's only one room 001. So I get that you could assume that that is the only use of that key. It's only the ones in the mansion that open several fucking doors. Oh my god. Oh my god. There's some shit in here, isn't there? Something inside the bathtub. We take the control room key. Yes, I will, because I will need that. In fact, we are going to leave him here for now. In fact, should we? Let's just go in. The one on the bathroom floor would have activated as well if you'd have stepped near it. We'll take that clip. Suicide note. June 22nd, 1998. I had to do it. We ran from those things, helping each other to survive. But Robert started to show the symptoms. I had to do it. Those damn things are pure evil. There was no other way. 
he would have done the same if it were the other way around. After I put him out of his misery, I had to just leave him in the bathroom. That one probably the last one. How could this happen? I'll never forgive myself for being part of this project. Eventually I'll get what's coming to me though. There's no way to escape from this nut house. It's just a matter of time now. Everything is set. All I need is a little courage to get it done. Knowing that I'll leave many things undone is regret beyond words. But this is better than just waiting to turn into one of them. Please understand and at least let me end my life as a person. There's a message on the back. Linda, please forgive me. Right, so he's dead. But we don't need to come back in here, so we don't need to worry about him becoming a crims and head. Oh my god, he's got back up again. Well, that's fine then. You can just chill out there because we don't need anything. And I don't want to waste any more bullets. And I don't want to attract his ire. Me either. Okay. So that little self defense gun is pretty much useless. I think it can kill a zombie in one shot though, but I'm not quite sure. I am going to get rid of it for now though. Oh, is that the wrong door? That is the wrong door. Have a sip of mediocre coffee again. Right, 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 right. Oh, we need everything apart from this little derringer, really. In fact, I'm going to take the uh, shotgun with me. can't remember if we get access to a box again. this little hole that we've made. Yeah, there's a ladder here. Climb down. We will. Okay, so this is a block pushing puzzle. And you know that we love those after uh, Resident Evil Zero, but this one is much easier than Resident Evil Zero. In fact, it's so easy that they've practically put it here just to tack on a bit of length to the game, if I'm honest, which is a bit shit. I think this puzzle was in the original there. Uh, don't quote me on that. Um, I'm really enjoying playing all of this Resident Evil. It will always be my favourite game series, I think. Just something about the franchise. I mean, I'm a big horror fan anyway. I love horror movies. I love zombies. Big George Romero fan. Um, and I just think Resident Evil is always going to be my favourite game series. I know it's 
had a couple of installments that have been a bit rubbish, but overall, some of the best games ever made are from this series. Resident Evil 4, this game Resident Evil Remake, uh, Re Resident Evil 2 Remake was fantastic, really enjoyed Resident Evil 3 Remake, I get people's uh, get people's like um, criticisms of that game, but at the same time, for me, I don't really, I'm not really as bothered by some of the things people are saying about it. Oh my god! Oh my god! Get off me! Get off me! Get off me! Okay, so I got bit by a shark there, and I'm already on caution, which is really annoying. Again, it's like a 50-50 whether you'll actually ever get bitten by a shark. But you've got to hurry up because there's a big one and that will get you. Uh, discard the control room key. It doesn't matter that we've bent through a couple of healing items this session because, if I'm honest, we had absolutely loads. Warning lamp indicates that there's an emergency. Understatement of the century. There are giant fucking sharks outside. Pick up this kit. Mix of two green herbs, that's brilliant. There's a map of the Aqua Wing. Aqua. Oh, I can't even say that. Aqua Ring. There we go. Okay. Uh, I think we need to look. There's like a whiteboard. Let's just have a look at it because this puzzle changes, I believe. Caution in case of dropping pressure. Open valve number one. That is what we need to know because this is a time sensitive thing. Pressure shell. Uh, error message in displayed. Something has to be. There's a switch to drain the water. Let's press it. Emergency! Emergency! Unknown source of pressure detected. Locking all doors to achieve maximum safety. Okay, so we need to relieve the pressure because we read the whiteboard. We know it's valve number one. Right, so, oh, I've done the wrong thing, that's fine. Control lever for the pressure, it won't put until the safety is released. Pressure shot is blocked, threshold. release the safety. Safety mechanism has been released, so we've done that. Oh, oh my god, this camera angle is really bad. Control lever for the pressure sensor, do that. Okay, so we've lost oil pressure, but we know it's to do with number one. Reaching 50% of pressure threshold. You have to be pretty quick on this to be fair. Emergency drainage system And then we need to do the safety switch again. Ooh, and then we do that one again, and that should be it. To be fair, the sharks were in the original game as well, and the sharks are a bit more pathetic, if I'm honest. Now we can drain the water. The water has been completely drained. Excellent. Shotgun shells, which we will happily have. I don't know if... Oh yeah, we can use that one. So this is our way back up, but I'll take these magnum rounds 
right now because you can never have too many magnum rounds. And this is this goes back to what I was saying in Resident Evil Zero. Um, when you are confident with a Resident Evil game, you can end up having a ludicrous amount of ammo. I'm not sure if those sharks can hurt if you go near them. So best not to. Oh no, that's the key that I needed. So you can either be really stupid now and actually shoot that shark or you can push this console in the water and turn the power on. And fry the shark. Okay, we've got another residence key. Okay, yeah, so we saw that ladder um, in that room where we've got the Magnum ammo. That is traditionally the way out, but I'm, I'm just going to have a look around the aqua ring again just to see if there is anything that we missed. If I can get back into the aqua world, I don't know if we're allowed back up there. But I think there was a room that had some files and stuff, which obviously I wouldn't mind looking at. Again, this isn't a speed run, so I'm not too bothered. Oh, look at that one. Yeah, there's this door here, so we'll have a look in here. It's a guard room. Yeah. So there wasn't anything else here. I thought there was something at least. Oh well. <coughs> I thought there was at least a bit of ammo or even just a file to read, but obviously not. So there was no point in coming that way. But we'll come that way now. Might as well make our way back to our last residence key in tow. I think that this is where we might actually need to use the uh, I'm getting ahead of myself here but we need to make a chemical with which to kill plant 42. We've got those two green herbs there so we'll take that and we will combine. Ah right okay the water's all gone, so we do have to use the other way. I get ya. I mean, if that's connected to this aqua ring there, what was to stop those sharks from swimming? Uh, to where those blocks were and just getting me there. I actually think, uh, go going back to Django saying I'm surprised they didn't test on lions, tigers and bears, I actually do think that they tested on bears in one of the other, in one of the, uh, one of the spin-off games. through here. Okay, 
We would have mocked it. Okay, so we're actually nearly done with this area already, which is good. It's a residence key, no fair use for that, discard it. There is a handgun clip there, but we... Ah, shit, I forgot about those. We are not going to need them. Corpse with a contorted expression. He's holding something. Will we take the insecticide spray? We will take the insecticide spray. And uh, we need to get out and dodge. about to give those wasps a very bad day. So take the map of the residence. You got the map of the residence, there's a hole in the wall here. And we will use that insecticide on the hole in the wall. Excellent. Okay, now this changes, I believe, every time you uh, you play it. But I'm just gonna Okay, I can't remember how we do that. Right, yeah, we'll go back and do and actually do the puzzle properly because I can't remember how you brute force it. There is a way to brute force it though. Will you take the residence key? Yes, I will. And we've used our last residence key. Okay, and there's some growth shit there. Shelf is lined with red books. There's one white book sandwiched between them. Take it. I will. Organic Chemistry Lab Experiment. The similarities in the cellular characteristics of the rapidly growing plant infected by the tyrant virus have been reported in previous papers. However, while repeating these experiments, an interesting new fact became clear. We learned that a chemical in the UMB family, UMB number 20, contains a compound that is toxic to the cells of the plant. We have given UMB number 20 a new name, VJOL. If calculations prove correct, when Vigil is applied directly to the root of the plant, the entire plant should be dead within 5 seconds. The Vigil can be made by simply mixing the VP and UMB chemicals in a specific ratio. However, extra care must be taken when handling these UMB chemicals. They have been known to generate toxic gases if mishandled. The characteristics of each UMB chemical are as follows, UMB number 3 red, U yellow 6, yellow UMB number 7 green, UMB number 10 orange, VP017 blue, VJOL dark brown. Okay, excellent. There's a typewriter. Here's the bathroom.
full of dirty water. Pull out the plug. Give that a second. We are going to get rid of this red book actually, so I'm going to do a puzzle. No, it's not that. Go to the books. Right, that's right. Place. That one with that one. Replace that one with that one. Then we will replace that one with that one. And we've opened up a secret. Which leads us to the plant fight. But we don't want to do the plant fight yet because we actually want to make the V job serum because it makes the plant fight a lot easier, if I'm honest. Um, we'll take that handgun clip since we have got a little bit of space on us. And I'm also going to take this red hair. That. I'm going to stash some shit and we're going to find out the solution to that puzzle instead of trying to brute force it because I can't remember for the life of me how you actually do brute force it. It'd probably take me longer to faff about with it than it would be to actually show you how we solved the puzzle in the first place. So we have to go back to where the spiders were. keep going in the wrong room for some reason I've got it in my head that this that the save room is on the left and it's on the right and I don't know why I've got that in my head solve a puzzle and dodge a spider 
while we're doing it. Although it is, oh, he's hiding right where we need to go. Okay, so we've got a full eye. I'm just gonna actually make a little note. Post it out. I'm going to do a little drawing there. Red. So. Uh, he's spitting acid. Let him do that. Got a green one. Like that. And that's one with the top two points on it. So we'll make a note of that green. Orange. Um, draw a little diagram of that and orange. Okay. If we look at the snooker table, or pool table, or billiard table, or whatever the fuck it is, well, billiard, obviously she just said billiard. Um, so we've got the orange one is five, the green one is six, and the red one is three. So the corresponding symbols are the numbers that they need to be. Um, so let's go back and get that sorted. Don't mind me. <laughs> that spider is woefully, woefully easy to dodge. Now we're going to go make redraw, which means that this that the plant forty two fight is a lot easier, a lot easier. Okay, so let's go back to this puzzle now. Use it. Okay, so that icon was the red ball, which was free. That icon was the green ball, so that was six. And that was the orange ball, which was five. And there we go. So that's how you do the puzzle. Okay, so we've got a few beakers here. Take these beakers. something written on the wall 1 plus 3 equals 4 4 plus 6 equals 10 1 plus 6 equals 7 10 plus 7 equals 17 17 plus 3 equals 20 so UMB number 3 take some one second yeah Yellow six takes a minute. And then fill the empty bottle with water, yep. Yeah. Okay, so that makes four. That makes six. That makes plus six even, that makes ten. And then one plus six equals seven. Oh, I don't want to do that. I wanted six. OK. 
pit, fill it with water, combine, so that's a seven. Ah, so I needed the three anyway. Combine, so that's 17, plus the three, which is a brown, that's the V-Jolt. Don't know if we use a V jolt in this bathroom or if we use it in the room that we saw back in near the aqua ring. I'll try it here first because obviously it's right next to us. Nope, we can't use it here. So we need to go back to the acro ring and use it on the rooms that are in the acro ring. Another thing about this game, best music, absolutely some of the best music. Oh shit, that was really stupid. That was really stupid. I went through the wrong door and now I've got to fight the boss. That is really, really, really fucking stupid. That was really fucking stupid. Um, I didn't save either. Shit. Ah, oh, it's missed. Oh my god. Oh my god. I'm saved for a long time. Oh my god. Oh my god. This was really stupid of me. This is what happens when you're not paying attention. This is what happens when you aren't paying attention. I think I've just fucked this up to be honest. Oh my god, I can't hit it for shit. Oh my god, I can't hit it for shit. We have fucked we have fucked this up massively. Well I've fucked it up. I'm a fucking idiot. Oh my god, I've absolutely fucked this up. I've got no ammo. Right. We're not winning that fight, so shit. <laughs> what an absolute fuck up. Oh my god, I haven't I haven't saved this session either. We have lost a whole hour's worth of progress. We have lost a whole hour's worth of progress. Shit. Shit, 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 shit. Fuck me. Oh my god, that is super frustrating. Super frustrating just because I went through the wrong fucking door. That is ridiculous. That is ridiculous. Oh. Oh. oh, fucking hell. Oh, oh my. I don't know what I want to do now. really can't be bothered playing the whole last hour again. Oh, I can't believe I made such a stupid mistake. It's all because I went through the wrong fucking door. That is ridiculous. Okay, so we're going to try and rush through this bit as quickly as we can. Okay, so we change that to orange. The thing is as well, I actually started the stream about 15 minutes, 20 minutes in to where we are now. 
because I didn't want to bore people by retreading the same old ground, but obviously that's what's going to happen in this one. Shit. Oh my god, I really should have saved. I really should have saved. I had it in my head as well. I was like, right, I'm going to save before we actually go in. But I, I just wasn't expecting to be an idiot and just walk into the fucking boss room and get stuck in there. What an absolute Terence. Okay, so uh, get ready to watch the last hour of gameplay minimum again. Oh, which one's this one's with our eyes? This one's about everything. Okay, yeah. This one's got a nose. And this one is a mouth. Fight this bugger again. Time for you, my friend. We shall take the stone and metal object. Yeah, um, I mean, the plant really doesn't mess about anywhere. So if you're prepared, if if you are going to fight him, like it is a tough boss fight. If you play as Chris, you don't really have the option to do the V-Jolt. I can't remember if Rebecca can make it or not. I don't think she can. I think maybe she does. I'm not sure. I don't really care. Um, so I was thinking after we've done this playthrough anyway, should we go to Chris's version of events just to say that we've uh Yep, yeah, that's right, come that way. Run past him. Should we play the Chris scenario? Just so that we can see what happens with Chris and uh, find out what happens to Rebecca Chambers. Obviously both stories contradict each other. Um yeah, is it necessary Ah, uh, come on, don't be a dickhead. There we go. Ah, uh, shut up. Come on. No, I don't want to take it. Stop it. Well, I think the lockdown's probably going to last quite a while, to be honest. So I think we're going to be able to get through... At least the good Resident Evil games. And this is something I will continue if uh, the lockdown does end, albeit not as regularly, obviously, because I won't have uh, the afternoons free to do this. I know it's an unpopular opinion, but I hope he dies. In fact, no doubt, because then he's going to become a martyr to the alt right and. A hero and everything. Oh, 
anyone who thinks Boris has done a good job <laughs> in regards to the uh, to this situation doesn't watch the news properly. That is literally my sentiment. Boris Johnson is a grade A prick, but if he dies, loads of idiots think he is a hero. I will get even more clapped for Boris Stevens. It's what happens when you grow up reading the sun and taking it seriously. One of the best, uh, one of the best memes that really encapsulates the uh, the attitude of the general public um, compared to like, in this situation is. Uh, it's like a screenshot from The Simpsons where Milhouse's dad, um, Mil Milhouse's dad's like moved out because his parents have divorced and uh, he's got one of those like race car beds that kids have and he, he, he says to Homer, my bed's a race car, what about yours? I sleep in a bed with my wife. It's like, uh, okay. Oh, shut up, bro. Um, and uh, but obviously they've replaced the, uh, the they've replaced that text with I show my appreciation uh, <laughs> for the NHS by clapping every Thursday. What do you do? I uh, I show my appreciation by not voting Tory. <laughs> So we're gonna meet Lisa again. Mm -hmm. I'm hoping that the uh, code for the door hasn't changed because of me reloading. Because I do know that it's randomly generated, but I don't know if it's randomly generated each actual game session. <laughs> yeah. Never forget that the first time that Boris Johnson applauded for the NHS was when they announced that they were increasing the wages. I feel like Resident Evil is probably the most fitting um, game to play as well, uh, just because of... Uh, Obviously, we're in an actual biohazard situation. Speaking of biohazard, uh, fun fact, if you didn't know, the series in Japan has got is actually called Biohazard. Uh, the reason why it isn't called Biohazard in the UK and, well, in America as well, is because... Uh, basically, at the time, Capcom couldn't copy it. There was two reasons. Basically, there was an up-and-coming hardcore band called Biohazard, um, and Capcom believed that they were going to have uh, copyright issues with them from using the name Biohazard. And also, uh, Capcom were informed, and I don't know if this is true or not, but it's certainly what I've read, uh, Capcom were informed that basically you can't copyright one word names in the US which I'm sure thinking about that can't be true because obviously like what about like McDonald's or Microsoft or things like that nah that's that's gotta be rhubarb that I think it is more to do with the uh, with the band to be honest Yeah, I think it might have been that it was going to be quite expensive for them to possibly um, copyright a word that is quite uh, quite a generic word as well. Because it's not, I suppose, something like McDonald's or Microsoft uh, words that were made up 
for the sole purpose of naming a company, whereas the word Biohazard actually had a meaning before the Resident Evil series. But obviously they had no such problem in Japan, and so the series was called Biohazard there, which it was always intended to be over here. Which is why Resident Evil 7, its subtitle is actually Biohazard, and conversely over in Japan, it's actually called Biohazard 7 Resident Evil. So it was Capcom's way of sort of like marrying up the franchise names. Which uh, went straight back out of the window of course as soon as we had uh, Resident Evil 2 Remake which just went to Resident Evil 2 over here and then over in Japan it was Biohazard 2. I think the word name Resident Evil definitely suits this game a lot more. Um, obviously the more grandiose in scale the uh, series got the term biohazard probably didn't suit it as much be sorry resident evil didn't suit it as much because obviously you're not in a single singular residence you're in uh you're in like you're going around a city you're going around all sorts of other places whereas obviously in a mansion setting resident evil makes sense and it's also a good nod to the originator of the resident evil franchise which was a game called sweet home which was uh which was def the uh original um basically the predecessor to resident evil shinji mikami's uh first project for Cap well one of shinji mikami's first projects for capcom alongside the uh, Goof Troop game on SNES, which is actually a really good game. The Sweet Home was more of a turn-based RPG and a puzzle game set inside a mansion, and it had more of a supernatural element to it. You were dealing with ghosts, things like that. Um, it was never ported over to the West, but uh, thanks to the power of the internet, if you've got a NES emulator, I think it was on the NES or SNES. I think it was actually the NES. If you do have a NES emulator or access to that, you can actually download a patched version of the ROM that does contain a fan translation. How accurate that translation is, I'm not sure. But it might be worth just having a look as like a little bit of Resident Evil history. Uh, the original prototype for Resident Evil 96, which obviously this game is a remake of, um, was in first person, uh, much akin to Resident Evil 7. That would be much later in the, as that would be much later in the franchise's history. Uh, in fact, 20 years later in the franchise's history. I believe that game came out in 2016, or it could be 17 actually. Yeah, so the original idea was for Resident Evil games to be in first person, but the uh, technology Technological limitations meant that uh, they couldn't do that. So that's when they adopted the fixed camera angles and the more cinematic presentation, which I think was an absolute uh, essential for this game, if I'm honest. Okay, so let's stash some of these. Just in case we come across anything that we have issues with, I'm gonna fill up that canteen. I'm gonna grab that ink ribbon. Fill up the canteen. Pop the ink ribbon in there. I going to do? I'm going to fill up that canteen. I'm going to swap to the handgun just because there are zombies that I could kill if I need to. And pop that back in the 
bombs. Okay. We will save before we go into the boss room this time. You have my word on it. <laughs> um, there's some stuff for us to pick up in this room, so we might as well do that. We shouldn't need to uh, solve the puzzle again. Hopefully that hasn't reset. I think it's every play session, not... Um, I'm going to keep these green herbs singular actually for the moment in case we have any issues with poison because I believe you can only mix them with singular greens. I don't know if you can... Oh, you dickhead. And we're poisoned! Okay then. I think there's a green and blue herb in this box actually. Let's have a look. Yep, you can. And we are on fine. Take that red book. We'll use that again. Hmm, this spider seems a bit more aggressive this time. We had a very docile spider for it to reload. Maybe he was upset because I was calling him names. So note to self as well, do not try and take down the uh, plan with the grenade launcher because the grenades just fucking sail past it. Definitely a shotty job. We'll skip the cutscenes because we have witnessed them before. Barry. And there is a key in this bathroom, so we are going to have to... Nearly walk past that. If you do walk past that, you get hit by some vines, so we probably don't want to do that. Get rid of that key. Best thing to do. Actually, now think of it is to pick up all the shit now. That was a suicide note. Because then. Oh, I think I've gone out the wrong door. We don't have to get past him to get those items. Not that we actually need any of those items, but. Um, 
think we need to drain the bath. Something inside, there's another key. Oh, see, he got up then because we walked close to him. As I said, they do get up those guys. But we don't need to bother with them now. I don't think these guys can open this door either. So that's useful. Um, we are going to take the shotgun actually, because it is what we're going to be using on the plant if we have to fight it. that I'm not going to use in here and we'll take the shotgun shells okay Yep, yeah, that's exactly what we wanted to happen, so he's not going to come back as a crimson head. We've got to push these fucking blocks again. I feel like my entire life is one big block push. How enjoyable it is to push blocks. I mean really, I feel like that puzzle is probably unnecessary. I'll take that because I know we get the other two. See if we can do this without getting bitten this time. Yeah, we missed that one. Should be alright. If you stay in this water too long though, there is a very big shark that ends up getting bit. That's why the uh, very tense music starts to kick off. Yeah, just don't know why we put that block puzzle there. It doesn't add anything to the game whatsoever, other than just slowing you down. Right, so it's uh, valve one still, that's fine. 
this has been displayed, some computers have gone wrong while the water has been drained, there's a switch during the water, press it. Emergency, emergency, okay. unknown source of pressure detected. Locking all doors to achieve maximum safety. Pressure shell in flux, release the safety. Then we'll do that. Obviously that's not going to work. Reaching 30% of pressure threshold. Safety. Pressure shelter down. box and that has two green herbs in it from what I remember. Examine not combine. Mix the two green herbs with inside. So we'll combine those. Shotgun shells, 31. Respectable amount of shotgun shells for this point in the game. Soon it takes two or three to down a hunter. And the hunters will be coming in for soon. I do feel a bit bad for the sharks, not their fault, is it? with a remaster it really looks like they cut the art redoing the texture models on the shark so the shark looks a bit rough compared to the Okay, he's dead again. Take the resonance key. Tells the bee jolt. Got the red buff, yeah, yeah. I think if you have just killed that zombie normally, uh, when you come back to do the V jolt, it crimson heads regardless of how long you've been. No further use, discard that.
pistol clip, which we might take in a moment. Take that off that corpse. There's the hole. We use that with the hole. Kill all the wasps. I feel like we're making good time. We're pretty much up to where we were now, and we've got about we did that in about half an hour. So even though it took us an hour before, obviously we watched cutscenes. I was reading out files and taking a bit more time with things. So I feel like we've made up the time. Okay. That is six. That is five. Yeah. Still works. But first, we need to go into this room. Alright. Need double F3 then. Ah, yeah. Of course, it's at the end of this corridor. Oh my god, look at that guy. Like the swelling on his face and everything. Talk about T virus, that guy had the B virus. And I know that was an awful pun. <laughs> Okay, let's do this properly this time. Yeah. So move this to here. Move this to here. Uh, I did that a lot easier than I did last time as well. Don't go through that door. Don't go through that door. Although I think because we've got a shotgun, we'll, we'll actually stand a chance against it now. I'm not sure if draining this water does anything. I think it does because I think it stops it from being able to uh, get a secondary source of water. I don't know. We'll do it anyway. Let's go make the V-Jolt. We actually only need three of these beakers. So I hadn't done that right then. Let's just remember that. Right, so we've got 10. 1 plus 6 equals 7. 10 plus... Ah, oh, right, so I've got... That was stupid. Why can't I mix two 10s together? That, that doesn't make any sense. 
Right, fill that with water. Yeah. Right, so I need to make the seven, combine that with that one. Then we need to take that one. Combine it with that. Ah, we've got the junk. Don't know why we couldn't have mixed two ten because that would have got us to twenty as well. And at least this time we haven't gone into the boss room, which is always a good thing. shows you what happens when you don't pay attention during your stream. Oh wait, we need to go this way actually. The acro ring is that way. Right then. Yeah, the acro ring is through 002. One of the things that does annoy me, um, I, don't, I can't remember if it happens in the ending of this one, but in the ending of the original one, even if you play as Jill, and uh, you, basically to get the best ending, there's a way that you can save, uh, spoiler alert I know, but this is a fucking real old game. <laughs> um, basically there's a way that like you can save Chris at the, um, at the end of the game. And if you do that and you save Chris, uh, he's, he's shown as being in the helicopter with you all. And if uh, if Chris is in the helicopter, Jill's like laying her head on Chris and Chris is looking like he's, he's done everything. Even if you've played as Jill, which is really annoying because it's like, Chris, what are you doing? You've just sat in a jail cell for the last four to five hours or whatever it takes you to play the game. Obviously it makes more sense if you play as Chris because then you jill out of jail. But yeah, there are a number of enemies you can get. You probably don't need the bottle anymore. Throw it away. We've thrown away all the glass bottles. Is there anything there that we couldn't get before? No, there isn't. So this room is literally just to make you backtrack. And obviously we saw what an absolute unit the plant was when we fought them without using the V-Jolt. So it's actually going to be a good comparison uh, to see how the uh, plant reacts with the V-Jolt. I think you do have to fight this though, but I think it goes down a lot quicker. One. Yeah, as you can see, the uh, background textures on this game don't look as good as they did in Resident Evil Zero. I think, it, like, a, a, I don't know if I mentioned before, but the assets to this game were lost, so they've had to sort of 
reverse engineer them from the GameCube version. Like, while it's easy enough to up res Jill's model and re sculpt that model, um, the actual pre rendered backgrounds would have to all be like painstakingly drawn again. And there's obviously at that point you're remaking the game essentially for the third time and obviously I don't think Capcom wanted to do that so they've clearly just I dare to even say upscaled the textures because they do look very very sort of blurry and washed out mm, do we save do we save do we save yeah we fucking save because I cannot be uh not be doing that again. What can I say? I just really like to. Uh, I just like to live dangerously when it comes to a Resident Evil title. I think as well, just because the uh, ranking systems in the games used to always penalise you for saving. So it's always drilled in my head to like not save in a Resident Evil game if I could help it. Although that um, that has obviously been much to my chagrin in uh, a couple of Resident Evil titles. I remember once getting all the way um, to the last boss on Resident Evil 2, uh, getting killed by him and losing a couple of hours of progress. Uh, which was annoying, especially because I was on track to get the uh, to get the uh, rocket launcher. Was it a rocket launcher? It was something, whatever you unlocked by beating scenario A in under two hours and whatever with uh, with Claire. But it's a mistake that I will keep on making it appears with Resident Evil. We'll take two heals just because it can be a bastard. And we'll grab our ink ribbons, which we've got a nice supply of now. Definitely going to be nothing ribbons to uh, get us through the game, especially since I would say we are probably at the halfway mark, if not past the halfway mark, the longest section is the initial mansion section I believe getting the getting the masks. As you as you've seen this section is quite quick, it's about half an hour altogether, 45 minutes. Shotgun shells, and we're ready to take it on. I definitely say this is this would be one of my desert island games, though. Uh, in this and Resident Evil 4. I know if I, if I could only take five games, I'd have two Resident Evil games in that list if not more if I'm honest. Uh, my Desert Island games would probably be, well, I'll think about that while we uh, fuck this planet up. this thing Barry Jill <laughs> Barry the flame fellow
Yeah. Jill, I came across <sighs> this flamethrower. I thought it was finished. Yeah. It was in a linen cupboard. That was close. Thanks again. Don't mention it. But what was that? What the hell's going on in this place? Have you not figured it out yet, Barry? Come on, mate. Play the game. That's it. Mansion key. Lovely. Uh, was there anything left for us other than that? Barry's just standing there like a doll. Barry. Something about that mansion still bothers me. But I think I'll stay here a little longer. We should split up again and investigate. Alright. Split in the party. Always the best option. Nothing up here. Um, nah, if uh, Resident Evil 7's in your Desert Island games, then Resident Evil 7, sorry, Final Fantasy 7's in your Desert Island games. Obviously, I'm not the biggest fan of it. I still think it's a good game. Um, and if it's in your favourite games, it's in your favourite games, isn't it? That's why it's your favourite games. I certainly respect the fact that someone's got, got it in the game still. I don't think it's like completely without merit. Wesker! Jill, so you're safe. That's what I was going to say. I apologize. It was all I could do to protect myself against those strange creatures. I understand. Anyway, it's good that you're safe. Did you notice? Barry, he sounded a little flaky. Now that you mention it, yeah. I'll keep a close eye. Maybe it's quite natural under these circumstances. It's not really our standard operation. Jill, our first I don't think Jill can hear the music to be honest, Jenga, so... There's still rooms I don't in that think mansion that's a telltale sign they're for. locked up. I've been looking for ways to... Okay, if there's anything, I'll go back to the other mansion. I'm counting on you. But yeah, it's good how Barry just found a flamethrower. To be honest, there's an alarming amount of firepower. I know it's like obviously owned by Umbrella, but there's still an alarming amount of firepower knocking about, considering it's a... Uh, just a normal, just a mansion, even if it is a secret research base. Yeah, <laughs> Barry just coming in with a flamethrower. Jill, I've just found this flamethrower. I had to solve a elaborate chess-based puzzle to get into the cupboard. What I am going to do, because I always tend to get bitten by these snakes on the way back actually, I am going to take a blue herb and a green herb, combine those, and if I don't need them, if I take a hit, I can just get myself up to green fine. Okay, so we've got a key. Uh, let's examine the key. It's a helmet key, which, if you remember, is the key that we need to unlock every other door, pretty much. Not every other door, but pretty much most of the doors. Jill! Does anybody hear me? I hear you, Brad. Over. Stars Alpha Team. Bravo Team. 
doesn't matter. Respond. I repeat, this is Brad. Brad? Brad! This is Brad. If you can't answer me, somehow give me a sign. Jill to Brad. Can you hear me? Who is that on the radio? Brad! I think it might have been Brad. Brad! Shit. It's broken. Dan! 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 Which reminds me of that partridge moment. Dan! 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 Don't think you can hear me. Dan! Oh look, this place for doggies. Thing is, you can actually run away from dogs easier than you can run away from crows. Okay, here's where the snakes come down. Oh, oh, yeah, went for me. See? Proper preparation prevents piss poor performance. dogs that's fine and I think we have uh, a little present actually off uh, Barry or Wesker let's take a battery pack we will definitely take the first aid spray we've got a lot of healing items we're gonna actually take stock of those next time we uh, open the take the grenade shells of course we will Use this thing to protect yourself from that bulletproof thing in chains. I went ahead and fixed the piece of crap door too, Barry. Oh, that was nice of him. As if he had time to do... So, we've been getting to the bottom of the mystery. Um, solving all these issues. And Barry, effectively, has been repairing doorknobs. Good job. Caution. Little bastard. Right, we need the Spencer key for that one. There aren't actually that many of these here. Um, so we'll ditch some things we don't need. Um, I want to get the grenade launcher out. Bloody hell, I've got so much in, in here.
think we're okay. Okay, so our first armor room. First helmet key door in here. And I can't remember what's in this room actually. Ah, I remember what's in this room. A very, oh shit, very annoying puzzle. Push that down here. Wait for that to come down. Get that to come this way. And then just keep pushing it from there. As soon as it gets on this pressure plate here, that gets it sorted. We'll take the dagger, of course we will. And there's just a hole in the floor. You can't see very far into it. Will we go down? Of course we're going to go down. And we've got the last book, Volume 1. November 29th, 1967. I can't get out. I've tried every possible way to escape, but only to be faced with the reality that I'm trapped. I've been everywhere. The laboratory with the large glass tubes full of formaldehyde and those dark, wet and eerie caves. What can I do? At first I didn't want to believe my eyes, but that familiar high heeled shoe in the corner. It was like a reflex. One name came to mind. Jessica. I don't want to believe they share the same fate as me. No, I can't give up. I have to hope that they're alive. November 30th, 1967. I haven't had anything to eat or drink for the past few days. I feel like I'm going crazy. What's happening to me? Why do I have to die like this? I was too obsessed with designing this ghastly mansion. I should have known better. November 31st, 1967. It was dark, damp. It was a dark, damp underground tunnel. I never dead end. But even in the darkness, something caught my eye. Carefully, I lit the match. I lit the last match. I had to see what it was. The grave. But deeply engraved into the stone was my name. John Trevor. At that instant it all became clear to me, these bastards knew from the beginning that I'd die here and I fell right into their trap. But it's too late now, I'm losing it, everything is becoming so far away. Jessica, Lisa, forgive me. Because of my ego I got both of you involved in this whole damn conspiracy. Forgive me, may God justify my death in exchange for your safety. George Trevor. But we know that I'm... Lisa and my mum weren't safe though. There's a switch, will we push it? Of course we will. Map of the mansion, take it, of course we will. The map of the mansion. <coughs> Couldn't really 
do anything about that. It's okay, we're still on fire. I don't think that the spider really did much at all. Red herb there, but don't really need it. Oh. Looks like a power supply for the elevator. Yep, we need to get that elevator going. Lunge. Yeah. Unlocked it. Oh no, look. It's a zombie. I feel like that one's gonna get up as well, but it doesn't. already. That didn't go as well as I thought it would. Really, I could have done with that. Um, That one didn't pop either. So that could effectively be two crimson heads that I've got to deal with at some point. Right, so that's where we've come in. I'm going to use that. I don't think I'm going to have to be come back here though. There is that. Lob is broken, it doesn't look like it'll open. Okay. I'm sure there's something else here. Ah, yeah, of course there is. Acid shells. We will take the acid shells. A good thing about the grenade ammo is that it stacks on itself. We've also got one of these. And we've also got a battery, which is what we needed. So that's good. Dead. 
That was worth it. And to be fair, I'm doing pretty well for ammo. Okay, so if you remember, this is where we got one of our keys from. Helmet key. And we are about to have another boss battle. And it is yawn. And the word yawn is probably a good way to describe this boss battle, actually. Especially if we're using the acid shells, which Yon really doesn't like. That was a waste. And there we go. <laughs> yeah, he's probably still got bits of Richard inside him. So as you can see, Four acid rounds, I did waste one, uh, hit the bookcase, but four acid rounds was all that was needed for that. So we've got another book. The knob is broken, it doesn't look like it'll open. Okay. As I say, the aptly titled yawn, to be fair, is down to, it's quite, it's a combination of one, it's quite an easy boss fight anyway. Um, as long as you keep a distance from him, he can't really do much to you. And two, he's pretty easy. Um, and three, if you use the acid rounds on him, he's most weak to that. Um, hunters and yawn are classed as BOWs in this game and BOWs are the same as the undead where the undead are weakest to well traditional bullets and flame rounds um, spiders uh, hunters and yawn are all classed as BOWs um, and BOWs are basically living things still and so the acid rounds are very effective which is why Barry says I think this was, will be effective especially against living things and when he says living things he's not been an idiot he actually means he's basically giving you a bit of advice there basically don't use them against anything undead use them against well against anything anything you don't need to use them against sorry anything other than that right so we've got a medal we've got a medal of an eagle not combining I just want to look and we've got a medal of the wolf so we're almost pretty done in the mansion to be fair I think there's a hunter, if you go further down that corridor, there's a hunter down there. But we don't need to go further down that corridor. Um, getting back to Desert Island games anyway. So definitely this. Definitely Resident Evil 4. Um, if I had to pick 5. Not Resident Evil 5, it? if I had to pick 5 games, I would say... Oh, some grenade rounds. Ooh, okay. Fence item, which we will take. 
No, yeah. Mail to the Chief of Security. Confidential attention Chief of Security. Date July 22nd, 1998, 2.13. X day is drawing upon us. Execute the following procedures within one week. Prompt actions are demanded. Lure stars to the estate and obtain BOW's raw combat data against stars. Collect two embryos of each mutated specimens as samples, include, excluding the tyrant, disposing the tyrant. Ensure complete disposal of the Arclay laboratory, including all personnel and test animals. Disguise their deaths as an accident. When the above procedures are executed, report to headquarters for further instructions. For some reason you're unable to execute the procedure by a deadline, report immediately. In case of emergency situations, report directly to the extension number 5691. Good luck, Umbrella Headquarters, Umbrella Okay, so what we need to do in this room See, there's that eagle statue that keeps watching us. We need to push these desks first. If we turn off the light, and if you walk underneath it, you can get to the jewel. Clicking means that whatever's in the eye. Red gemstone. Okay, so we're going to come down here. rounds. I will keep a healing item out because hunters do have a habit of one-shotting you sometimes or effectively one-shotting you. They can take you down to orange caution or even danger sometimes with if you do with a leaping attack. Oh well, we'll just run past that one. So we need to go in here. So in the other light, we're going to use the red one first. Oh, okay, don't use the red one then. That was annoying. Luckily, I didn't get poisoned there. Has it reset? Okay, and that gives us an MO disc, which is very useful. I can't remember if that red gem is actually useful for anything or whether it was just a big fake out. I'm just going to actually have a look at that.
Yeah, I think, I think if I remember correctly, highly bothered like searching into it too much, but I think if I remember correctly, there is a use for that later on. So I will keep that for now. Oh shit. I'm not getting very lucky with these headshots. But I don't need to go back to that area ever again. So that's fine. And the main thing that we needed was the battery, and we've got that. Get rid of the helmet key. Because we've opened pretty much every door in here now, other than two. Something handwritten, it's not dated. Nothing's changed. I never thought that this room I designed as an experiment would pay off like this. I can hide here for sa safely for a while because nobody knows about the secret behind this painting, not even Sir Spencer. Paint of a mansion in the back of the art room. Okay. Ink ribbon, um, we'll leave. Hmm, some kind of intel on the inside. But what the fuck? That was my fault for not. Oh my god, that was stupid. That was really stupid. Okay, we've got a jewelry box. And I can't believe, I cannot believe that that shotgun shell didn't kill that guy. that and we've got some puzzle pieces so I believe this goes there that goes there yep yeah. yep yeah, leave that there Okay, this does fit in here, but obviously it's been awkward. Very finicky puzzle, this. And there we go. There was a brooch inside. It changed into a key. So we've got the emblem key. Okay, I sort of jumped a bit then, actually. Um, 
purely because there was like a loud noise outside and I was like ah right so we do need to go back up the stairs Okay, so that was the sound of a uh, zombie opening a door, but luckily we never have to go down that corridor ever again. But if I'm honest, I don't think there's a sound that makes your stomach sink quite as much as that. Put the MO disc in there. We'll take another healing item just because we we are at the point where we are taking a bit more damage. Let's just have a look actually. So we've got two full heals there. Right, we've got a full heal there. Full heal there. We've got two red herbs there. Full heal there. Full heal there. Full heal there, full heal there. So we have a lot of health items, to be honest. We're doing quite well for health items. Okay, and now we're going to go into... Doorknob has been repaired. Yep, we know. Barry left a note. Use the emblem key, no use for that. Do that to see anything. There is a switch, press it. Magic. Will you take the metal object? Yes, I will. Although we will need something else. We'll take these shotgun shells and I will take that battery pack. Oh, and I do need to actually get something else from the item box before we press on. Just remembered that I will need the crank. that in the box because we won't need that yet. We will need our battery and we're going to need the crown. Now we've got the battery, there is a puzzle that we can solve effectively and we can progress to the uh, second to last area of the game really. Well second to last sort of main puzzle area. So you have the mansion, you have the courtyard area and then you have the caves which is where we're going now. And to go back through here. Back to Desert Island game, so no order. Um, Resident Evil Remake HD, obviously. Um, Resident Evil 4. Oh, you fucking joking, I'm poisoned. Right, it's okay. 
sticky snakes are a pain in the ass, to be honest. I don't think I've been poisoned so much in one place for this game before. Are the dogs still here? Diablo 3, definitely. Um, So definitely say Bloodborne, um, although any of the Soulsborne games really. certainly have to play Diablo 3 together Django. Well it is necessary. Square shaped hole here. So now we turn the crank. So effectively the season seasons on Diablo 3 um, are generally all about um, they're all about grinding out the seasonal objectives to get the new seasonal armor sets for your specific class you can only get them for one class per season though. so you need to have an idea of what which class you want to go with and then effectively those seasonal armor sets will help you in being able to get to really high levels of greater rifts which is in turn gonna obviously make you fuck off go away buddy all right oh my god he's proper hanging on that dog fuck me look at that what a joke yeah, so you push, um, basically it helps you push higher and higher levels of greater rifts. Um, so you end up being able to do like a ridiculous level of like torment and stuff. Okay, so we've got an item box. And do I need that crank? I don't think I do now. There's another crank that we will need. Got an ink ribbon. Hexagonal crank, that's what we need. Um, but I don't mind trying to use it like that. I'm going to save here. And I think that is going to be the stream for today. Obviously we would have got a little bit further if we hadn't have had that big setback, which is why I started early, because I did want us to get possibly past this part. But I think that we will be able to finish the game tomorrow. Um so we should have uh we should have have at least Jill's campaign finished. Uh, I was still in two minds whether to play through Chris's as well, because I always imagine Jill's scenario to be canon anyway, compared to compared to Chris's. Uh, but there's an argument for both, I suppose. I don't know what uh, Capcom actually considers to be the official canon. But uh, yeah, so until the next, uh, until tomorrow, where we're going to hopefully finish Resident Evil HD Remaster, and then we'll be back on Tuesday, uh, as it's the bank holiday, the four day weekend over in the UK. And so I uh, won't be streaming until the Tuesday, where we will either start Chris's scenario, 
or we will be playing Resident Evil 2 Remake, depending on what I decide on. Bye.